Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use the loft tool um, to make um, this kind of like a horn. So if you were in my mechatronics class we did this um, to make our acoustic speakers. Um, how we have something going from a phone speaker to some sort of mega horn, megaphone at the end. Um, we did just a square to a square, um, but I'm going to show you guys how we can do a couple of different things. So to make a loft, or let's look and see what that is first. So it's right here in the create menu and it's transition from one shape to another. You can do it just directly between two shapes. You can have it follow a set path. Um, there's a lot of different things that this can really do. And this is a tool that you can use to make really complex things. So let me show you um, very quickly um, what this could look like and how we could use it. So I'm just gonna make a rectangle. I'm going to make a new sketch Oh, not on the same plane, I wanted an offset plane. Let me make an offset plane first. So from there, just higher. So you can see I've got a plane sitting on top. I'm gonna to create a sketch on that plane. And let's just make it some other funky shape and we'll make it kind of off to the side too. Why not? So what loft does then is it creates that transition from one shape to the next. So we can pick our profiles being those two and we'll get into the rails on the horn. We're not going to use it right now, but just selecting profiles and pressing OK. You can see how it just transitioned from one shape to the next. So let's make that horn shape. So if you look at my process, the first thing I did was I made my first front horn. I made my path. I made a plane at the end of that path made my end point, and then I actually did two lofts, one to make the interior exterior shape and one to make the interior. So let's follow that same pattern. I'm going to create a sketch on the front, and I'm going to make the center of my horn on the origin. So instead of a two-point rectangle, I'm going to do a center rectangle. Just like that. And now I could do another center rectangle, but I want to show you another tool in the offset tool. So what the offset tool does is if I select my lines, I can offset that and bring it in just a little bit. It'll keep the same angles and dimensions or proportions. Um, it'll just offset at some distance. So that's to make like the wall of my horn. So there's my sketch. Again, I'm not worried about dimensions right now. So there's the start of my loft. I've got one face. Next, I want to make a path for it to follow. So I'm going to do a sketch on the right face. So from here I'm going to do just a, a simple arc that goes from one point to maybe up there. I want it to be kind of a smooth arc. And now a trick we learned actually is that the very end of this we want to be vertical. So I'm going to put a little vertical line at the end here making sure it's vertical and then I'm going to make them tangent as well. So I don't care necessarily how long that line is, and if it ends up down, that's fine too, um, as long as it's just vertical and it's tangent. Let's make this arc not quite as aggressive. Something like that would be good. Okay. So I've got my sketch. I've got my arc. So next I'm going to make a plane along a path, because what we want is we know the end of that path is vertical, right? We want it to be perpendicular to that. And so this is kind of um, misusing it in a sense, but it's the kind of a sneaky way to do it. So what this does is it creates a plane along a path at a point. So I can choose my path as this one. And like we did in sweep, this distance is a percentage. So if I wanted it to be halfway, it would, I type in 0.5 and it shows up there. But if I make it one, it shows up exactly at the end, and since the end of that line is vertical, we know it's perfectly horizontal. All right, so now we can see how we've got the center of the path on the bottom rectangle. We've got the center of the path on the top plane. So let's start a new sketch on this plane, and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're just going to make smaller rectangles. Keep in mind your orientation and where your horn sits as well. So we're down there. So I'm going to make, this is like my phone speaker, right? So I'm going to make it just kind of off a little. Another wall like that. Hit finish sketch and let's see what we've got. 
So it looks like I've got um, my two rectangles here. I've got a path, so we are ready to loft. And the reason we have to do this path this time is if we just tried to loft between, it wouldn't follow a nice curve. It would be pretty linear and would uh, make it jagged. Let me show you what I mean. So I can just loft these two rectangles together. You see how it just makes that angled aggressive attack? We don't want that. We want it to follow a path, right? So instead of a guide type like this, um, or we can specify one, let's pick a center line and the center being that path. Now you see how it makes it transition and it follows a path? So I can press OK. So next let's turn on those first two sketches, or all three sketches again, because if you look it just made it solid. The reason we did those offset squares was to cut it out. So let's loft again, and this time clicking on the inside squares. Remember we want to have it follow that center line path, right? Just like that. I press OK, and we've got our horn. Lastly, you can turn off your sketches so you can see the entire picture. And we are finished. That's lofting using the center lines um, as well as just loft in general.